suppose you want to find your body mass given your weight in pounds. Now the first thing that you needed to know is that one pound equals 4.45 newtons. This is the relationship between weight in the English system and weight in the SI system. Now your weight is equal to 180 pounds and the first thing that you need to do is you need to convert from pounds over to units of newtons and to do that you know that one pound equals 4.45 newtons. And when you do this calculation out, you should see that this unit of pound cancels out. That with this unit of pound is 801 newtons. So your weight is both 180 pounds and 801 newtons. Now the next step you need to take to find your mass is to go to the equation which says that weight is mass times the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. You're given your weight and you know the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. So to find the mass, you need to divide both sides of this equation by g. What you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. And when you do that, this unit cancels out with this unit. And what you should see is that you get an equation for your mass, which says that mass is equal to weight divided by the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. And now your weight in the SI system is 801 newtons, and you're going to divide that out by 9.8 meters per second squared. And when you do that, you should get 81.7 kilograms. A newton divided by a meter per second squared is a unit of a kilogram, and this is your mass. Now, one of the mistakes people often make is to try to divide 180 pounds by 9.8 meters per second squared. You have to make sure that your weight is in unit of newtons to use this equation.